All right, so what kind of world are we living in? Where did we come from? Where did the uh, universe come from? Uh, how did we get to be uh, living in the kind of world that we live in with the features that it has, which are with the, uh, the governing structure, laws, cause and effect principles that uh, animate and govern and otherwise uh, structure the universe? Well, we can tell lots of stories uh, about where we came from. I exist right now, so I can start tracking my own history, for example, and say, well, I came from my parents, and my parents came from their parents. And there's a long then uh, genealogical story that I can trace back to the beginning uh, of time, whatever the beginning of time uh, happens to be, or if there is such a thing right, as the, the beginning of time. But let's use that phrase. Suppose we were to ask, as far as we can tell, what happened to bring the universe as we know it uh, into existence or to bring it into the form that it currently exists uh, uh, that includes human beings as part of the, uh, the, the story of, of uh, reality. So suppose we put the phrase on the board here and say, in the beginning, right, and ask, how do we, in effect, fill in the rest of that sentence here? The first of the stories I want to tell that has an answer to this question is a story that we're familiar with at least in outline terms, I'm just going to call it the Big Bang story. Okay. And the story goes something like this. In the beginning, uh, everything that exists in the universe uh, was not all spread out in space the way it currently is. Instead, rather, everything was condensed into a very finite, uh, 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 an intensely small space, a singularity, right, of some sort. And then at a certain point, it went bang. Right? So it's big because all of the stuff of the universe was, uh, was compressed into it, and then the bang part is the, uh, the explosion that goes on here. So, all right, at the beginning then of this uh, iteration of the story, what we have is all of the matter and energy of the universe compressed into a singularity or in a singularity state, and then it went bang. And the bang is a little bit metaphorical here for it expanded fairly dramatically in an outward direction. Uh, with the expansion comes dramatic cooling. Right, temperatures go from the unbelievably hot to the slightly less than unbelievably hot in a fairly rapid amount of time, and that cooling process continues as the universe continues to expand. Now, when did this happen? Uh, estimates vary, but the latest number is somewhere around 13.73 billion years ago. And that number continues to be tweaked as uh, the theory is, is worked out, the equations are modified in various ways, and so forth. All right, next thing that happens then is uh, fairly quickly, a blink of an eye in, uh, in uh, uh, galactic time, so to speak, although we don't have galaxies yet, is about 380,000 years into the process. Say a blink of an eye, when you're talking in terms of 3.73 billion, or 13 rather, 0.73 billion years ago, we have the formation of the earliest chemical elements. The uh, lightest of the elements then come into being. There's a the formation of helium. Uh, deuterium, hydrogen, right, and so on, and then the elaboration of the, the chemical repertoire carries on. Next major phase, again, over the course of long stretches of time, the chemical uh, repertoire is, is elaborated and developed, and then those chemicals start to form into structures that we know as galaxies. Next major event, at least from our perspective, about 4.5 billion years ago, or roughly uh, one third of the, uh, the time from the beginning of the Big Bang, we have the formation of our Earth. Uh, in our particular solar system, right, with our particular star, in our particular galaxy, right, and so forth. Uh, next major event after the Earth goes through many uh, long periods of cataclysmic change, global warming, global cooling, global stasis, and uh, then running through all of those things again. Next significant thing is the formation of very early life 
And here the estimates vary. This may be as late ago as 3.8 billion years or as recent as 3 billion years ago. Uh, again, those numbers are subject to change as more information comes in. Uh, life forms evolve in complexity and again from our perspective, the next major significantly uh, uh, event to occur is the development of us. The Homo sapiens version of complicated life and uh, the numbers start to get fairly small historically speaking. This is approximately 200,000 years ago. Human beings uh, continue to evolve. There are a couple of different species or subspecies, Neanderthal and uh, the Cro-Magnon version. And then uh, roughly 15,000 years ago, a major event occurs, and that is the development of metallurgy. As far as we can tell, the uh, Hittites around 15,000 years ago started to work in iron. There had been some primitive working in uh, copper and some of the softer metals, but uh, iron being the, uh, the powerful metal that it is, with all of the uses uh, that uh, marks a dramatic advancement. And then uh, shortly thereafter, at about 10,000 years ago, there's the development of agriculture. So Homo sapiens, humans who are mostly nomadic, small hunter-gatherer tribes, then dramatically change uh, in many places their, their lifestyles. They become more uh, town-based, uh, urban-based. There's a dramatic increase in the amount of, uh, uh, of wealth uh, as a result of, uh, of metallurgy and agriculture. And so on the basis of that, we start then to see the development of the earliest civilizations, first in the Mesopotamian River Valley, uh, Egypt, further east in India, even further east in uh, China, uh, then coming back to the west, the development of civilizations in Greece and Rome, and then on dot, dot, dot to contemporary time.